I'm a little bit upset. Too many of you guys know um, about these Ecotrician Snack Shack thingies. Yeah, a few years ago, these were very popular. Including myself, um, I used the Snack Shack logs, the Snack Shack tiny house hut thing, especially these that have like little treats and seed mix inside. And back in the day, I used them for every single one of my hamsters, and it was a big hit. Like, <laughs> They were chomping away. And at that point in time, I don't think it ever crossed my mind to like really go deep into ingredients. You guys let me know if this is correct or not because I honestly can't remember. When you buy these, the ingredients aren't even on the box. I think it just says made with alfalfa, honey, and seeds or something like that. Let me know if I'm mistaken though. That could not be the case or maybe they updated stuff. I don't know. Back to YouTube in January and after a couple years of not having a hamster, I bought one of these bad boys. I had one of these in the cage and I can't remember exactly who it was but someone um, had mentioned to me somewhere in the comments on one of my videos that um, these are not safe. I take everyone's comments into consideration. And if I do see a comment like that, I'm just gonna take it out of the cage, you know? Like, there's no question about it. So I just took it out of the cage and thought, okay, I'm going to look into this at some point myself, but for now, I'm just gonna take it out of the cage because someone did mention that this wasn't safe. That's what I did. Um, I've never put it in one of the cages since then because I myself did not sit down and do some dig deep digging on these and um, done my own research so I can know exactly um, if this is gonna be safe or not for my hamster. So today's the day. I've had a few questions or comments asking me about this product as well and we're gonna sit down and do some research. We're gonna go online. We're gonna see what we can find about these eco Trishan snack shacks. Let's do it. I wanna know what's going on with these and I wanna know what's inside of them and I'm sure many of you guys would like to know that as well. So, okay, so right here, we are on petco.com and we're gonna see what the ingredients tells us. This is the eco Trishan snack shack activity log. Activity log. Um, in the picture, it shows that it's brown, but it's actually like a red orangish color. I don't know why they are showing that it's brown. It's definitely not brown. Um, let's go ahead and see the description. It's a three-in-one activity log, a chew, treat, and natural hideaway made with fresh alfalfa and golden honey. This 100% edible snack shack is a great addition for any small animal's cage. Made with fresh alfalfa and golden honey for small animals to snack on. Okay, so on Petco's, so on Petco's website, it says that it is made with fresh alfalfa and golden honey. Here are just directions. Here we got attributes and specifications. We got the width, length, and height. Additional details, where are the ingredients? So this is just basic, so this is just basically telling us that it's made with fresh alfalfa and golden honey. Like, so this is a little bit disturbing to me as to why, um, obviously this is not just only the ingredients in of this product. Um, and it's quite upsetting to see that all they included was made with fresh alfalfa and golden honey. That really worries me to be honest. And nowhere on this site does it tell you the ingredients, the specific detailed ingredients of this product. And let's look at the, <clears throat> excuse me, the one that I have right here, the Eco Trishan, um, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Here, this one, this one's for hamsters. I think that's the one that I have. Yeah, it looks like it. So this is the Original Treat Stuffers by Eco Trishan. Now let's check this description. 1.9 ounce made with delicious gourmet seed blend and fresh alfalfa, two in one great tasting treat and irresistible chew all in one. Made with a delicious gourmet seed blend and fresh alfalfa, two in one great tasting treat, irresistible chew, which they already said, um, promotes small animals' natural chewing instinct. Okay, right here on the side as I see it says primary flavor seed. 
How is a seed a flavor, first off? <laughs> that makes no sense. Here, it just says that it's made with a seed blend and fresh alfalfa. And I think that's kind of weird that they wouldn't even mention that there is honey in this So because to get all these seeds bunched in like that, you gotta use honey to keep it together. Um, well, that's usually what um, a lot of products, a lot of treats are made out, out of. They use honey to get all these little seeds to stick together in like a ball. Um, so it's kind of weird that um, it doesn't say that. Um, let's look at additional details just in case. And um, again, right here, edible snack shack log and stuff half. And stuff half with fresh, what? 100% edible snack shack log and stuff half with fresh alfalfa and half with a de delectable seed blend for the ultimate treat. Okay, I don't know why, but that sentence just sounds really weird. Okay, so right here it says made with alfalfa and golden honey. So in the additional details, it at least mentions the honey. Um, but in the description right here, it doesn't. So if I'm new to owning hamsters and I want to buy this product, you know, the main thing or the main page I'm gonna go to is description. And this is like basically telling me what it is. Um, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it. Hey, um, we got some seeds in here and fresh alfalfa. I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit confused and a little bit disappointed in why the full ingredients are not listed on Petco's website about the ecotrition. Let's go ahead and head to PetSmart.com. PetSmart Ecotrition Snack Shack. So let's go on PetSmart's website and see what we can find there. Okay, so the picture looks a little bit more realistic and um, this is basically the color, the true color of the snack shack. So look at that. Here are the ingredients. Whether if that's for humans or pets, you need to know what's inside of it because some people have allergic reactions to certain things and you need to know what is inside of a product. So it just kind of confuses me, I guess, as to why, why the product didn't have all the ingredients on Petco's website. So. As we can see here, the main ingredient is pine wood shaving. Now, usually how ingredients work is the highest percentage of ingredient will be usually on the top, and then the lowest ingredients that are used inside of a product will be towards the bottom. So we kind of get a feel for... So the main ingredient, the number one main ingredient is pine wood shaving. I'll know about pine wood and cedar wood not being safe for hamsters at all. Just go ahead and look it up for anybody that would like to know. Woods to avoid. Just as you should avoid any wood from a tree that has been treated chemically, a few natural woods pose a hazard to a gnawing hamster. Cedar and pine branches contain naturally occurring oils that can make a hamster sick. Poisonous trees such as the yew, yew and ol Olander also are unsafe for consumption. Pine and cedar are not, are not safe for hamsters. How um, there is only like a small amount of honey in this, and when we went to Petco's site, like it just felt like this thing was made out of honey because it just said honey and alfalfa, so this just baffles me. The honey is actually not even used as much in this product. I've used these for years with my hamsters, and I'm really, really upset because I could have potentially put my hamster in harm. Well, I did potentially put my hamsters in harm, and it's very upsetting to know that this is actually made and the top ingredient is pine wood shavings. Like, <sighs> we all know that when a hamster chews on wood, that they are literally just chewing on it and then spitting it out. They're actually not ingesting it. But the problem that I have with these is that there is honey contained in them. And in some cases like these, there's seeds and alfalfa to a little hamster they might actually think that this is a treat and they might ingest it and with the main ingredient being pine wood shaving i'm not sure if i agree with this being a hundred percent um safe for your hamster any hamster to chew on because when the main ingredient is 
pine wood shavings that does kind of, you know, worry me. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I did give these to my hamsters a very, very long time ago, you know, nothing happened, thankfully. But knowing now what the main ingredient is, that does worry me, and um, I'm probably just going to toss this and never buy this product again, because I, I personally would rather be on the safe side, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, you guys let me know how you feel about this down below. Your thoughts are on this um, from what we've kind of went through today I think that's gonna be really up to the owner you know to make that decision I personally don't think that that is good in my opinion when I see the primary ingredient I can see I can see the shavings they're not that chopped up am I overreacting to some people maybe but I think I'd rather just be safe then sorry and I will never be buying these again and I will never give them to my hamsters. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think, please, down below. Love you guys so much and I will talk to you very, very soon in the next video. Bye!